Hey folks, Krusty Old Marine here. I thought I'd share with you today some interesting things I've discovered about brass. A lot of you may already know this. Uh, some of it's not, maybe not relevant uh, because I don't know how many times some of this brass has been fired, but I'm getting ready to do several test loads to do some velocity ladders to find out what my service rifle likes the best. I've not had the opportunity to do that even though I've shot it in several matches, but uh, getting ready to load some up. I didn't really want to use my Lapua brass that I shoot in competition, even though I have quite a bit of once fired. I wanted to try to use some of this other stuff, but I thought it'd be a good idea to find something that's really similar in uh, quality and volume of the Lapua brass. So let me show you what I found out here on all this other brass. So we know, we know not all brass is created equal. I cleaned up a bunch of, uh, some of this brass I fired, some of it I picked up at competitions. So pretty much the bulk of it has been fired by people that are in service rifle competitions. So one would think it's all really good brass, but I don't think that's necessarily true. I cleaned it, I deprimed all of it, and uh, I haven't, haven't done any trimming or sizing on any of it, but let's just talk a little bit about what we got. So we've got it all separated. This is all WSCC head stamp. WCC is for Western Cartridge Company. It's manufactured by uh, probably Winchester, the um, Western Cartridge Company, parent company, OLN, they own Winchester. So one would think this is a uh, pretty good brass. I've got some Lake City that is unstaked. So that would be non-military most likely. And I've got several, eh, probably about a, mm, I don't know, 60 or 70 pieces of Lake City that was staked. And one would think that is most likely military rounds uh, where they staked the uh, primers. Um, but Lake City, yeah, we know it's good brass. This is BLH. It is a, uh, the research I did on it, it's, it's, it's also Black Hills. It's manufactured for Black Hills by Winchester or Norma. So that would be good brass. Uh, I've got JAG. I didn't know a lot about JAG. I looked it up. JAG is short for Jaegman, I guess, or Jaegman, uh, J-A-G-E-M-A-N-N. -N. It's manufactured in uh, Manawak, Wisconsin. It's good brass and it would be on par with uh, Hornady Match. And so far, what little bit of weighing and looking at it I've done, it's the closest that I've got to uh, the Lapua, but I'm going to show you what I've been doing here after we go through all of this. This is a mix of Remington and PPU. Um, I would say it's decent brass, it's not great. PPU is Privy Patizan. Uh, it's made in Serbia. Um, and we all know about Remington. It's uh, average quality, nothing special. I wouldn't use it for uh, my match brass. This is FC, it's all federal. Uh, I would think that's good brass. This is a mix of Winchester. It's, I've got like two of each. It's Winchester and Creedmoor. Creedmoor, I looked up, it's manufactured by Starline under a Creedmoor brand. And this is GFL, which is Fiocchi, uh, or Fiocchi, I'm not sure how they pronounce that, uh, out, out of Italy. Uh, one would think that's good brass. I've got BHA, which is Black Hills Ammunition. This is good brass. It's a mix of just plain BHA on the head stamp and BHA match. I'm going to show you some measurements on those to uh, we'll do some comparison and see how that goes. This is PMC and PMC stands for Pung Sang Metals Company uh, out of Seoul, South Korea. It's decent brass. I don't know that it, I would classify it as good. They manufacture it in Seoul. They also manufacture it in Korea and Mexico and the Philippines. Uh, this is Frontier. Uh, Frontier is made by Hornady and this is Hornady. So let's take a look at some numbers here and see how all this stacks up against one another. So this is the BHA uh, not match and we're gonna we're gonna write these down and record them. I've got a, a spreadsheet that's got uh, It'll run the uh, standard deviation, the SD, and the extreme spread, and the average weight for us. And weight, um, the weight is kind of, I don't know, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's irrelevant. 
but it should be a reflection of what the volume capacity of the case is. Uh, looking at some other people's works, you know, looking at a case weight of say 102 to 103 grains, it's going to give a volume of about 30.5 grains. And then when you get down to a 95 and a half ish, it's going to give a volume of about 31.25. Most max loads uh, in most powders are going to be lower than that anyway, but it tells you how much, you know, what your percent of volume is. So let's uh, weigh some of these out. This is the BHA plane. All right, that one's 93.3. BHA 93.3. There's one. And we've got 92.7. That one off. This is not. This is the one of the better scales I've got. I'm going to get that uh, AND FX 120i. But you know, you got to use what you got and accept the precision that'll give you. So that's a 92.4. It's bouncing between 92.4 and 92.3. So we'll call that one 92.35. And I've been going with uh, just 10 random. Cases that one is 93.6. This one is 92.9. Wait a minute, I think I just pulled that out of the wrong. Nope, 92.9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that one is 93.1. This one, still BHA, not match. 92.9. And that one, 93. This one, 92.7. And the last one, 93.4. Now let's take a look at the match, what they're calling match grade, BHA match. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I need to find one more. Hopefully I've got one more of those. Yep, got one more. All right. So this is the BHA match. That is 92.9. That is 91.6. That is 91.5. Ninety-four one. Wow, that one's pretty far off from the rest of them. Is it a match? Yep. That one's a ninety-two Ninety-three zero. Ninety-one four. Ninety-two three. Ninety-two two. So let's take a look at that compared to the Lake City, the Lapua, uh, Lake City staked and unstaked and the Jag that I did earlier. Um, see how all that compares. 
So I've got this spreadsheet, and let's see, I've got the Lake City, Lake City, staked and unstaked, Lapua, Jag. Let's look at, put my brand in here, this is BHA, and this is BHA Match. Now, I'm going to zoom in on this, and then we can hopefully take a look at how it all compares. That's about as close as I can get right now. So on the Lapua, once fired Lapua brass, uh, that was fairly heavy with an average weight of 97.685 grains. Uh, to me, that tells me it's quality brass. It's uh, thicker. It's got, uh, you know, probably a lot more consistency than some of these other brands, but it's heavier, thicker probably going to have an overall volume of just a little bit less at 97.6 probably assuming it has a max volume somewhere of around 31 grains <clears throat> the jag was very close or or i think was the closest to the lapua and on 10 rounds of it it had uh, an average weight of 94.67 grains and that's probably going to give uh Probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 31.6 grains. Um, the extreme spread on, or the SD standard deviation on the Lapua was 0.436. On the JAG, it was 0 0.210, which actually the SD and the extreme spread on the JAG is better than the Lapua, uh, which is a little bit surprising. Uh, we'll go down to the Lake City State. The average weight on those cases was 93.070. And again, on these uh, fired cases outside the Lapua, I have no I have no idea if they've been fired once, if they've been fired 10 times. So, you know, they've been trimmed. Uh, who knows what's, you know, if they uh, had the primer pockets uniform. So, you know, some brass could be taken out from that. These Lapua rounds, they have been, uh, they have not been trimmed. They were just loaded fired and um, they have had the primer pockets uh, uniformed so some of the material has come out of that uh, but the L uh, Lake City State average weight of 93.070 with an SD of 0.58 and the stamped or the, uh, the unstaked had an average weight of 91.86 a little lighter with an SD of 7.35 uh, the BHA uh, it had an SD. Uh, I don't have don't have my average in there. Let me uh, let me copy that formula. Uh, let's see. So we got that in there. The the BHA, uh, not the match, but just plain BHA. It had an average weight of ninety three point zero four. Uh, that was right on par with the Lake City State, and just a tad lower than the Jag. It was heavier than the Lake City Unstaked, uh, but it had an SD of 2.46, which is good. The BHA Match had an SD of 0 0.810, uh, higher than the plain BHA. Uh, we've got a bad number in there somewhere because it's telling me the average weight was 83, which is crap I didn't have anything that light so it's got to be from 32 I-41 oh I'm, I'm missing one 92 92.2 so the BHA match had an SD of 0.76 and an average weight of 92.26 so it was a little bit lighter than the BHA. I don't know if that was <clears throat> because it's been fired more, trimmed more, who knows. Um, but you look at the SD, which one has the lowest SD? That's a 246 on the BHA. That's a 210 on the JAG. The next best is the 0.436 on the Lapua. So yeah, I'd say I would say all of that right there is good brass. Um, that BHA looks really nice. I would put it right up on par with the Jag. It's a little bit lighter, but uh, and all of it's a little bit lighter than the Lapua. But 
we'll see how some of it shoots. Now for grits and shins, uh, yeah, I'm trying to watch my potty mouth a little bit. Uh, let's look at some of how this other brass checks out. So this is the PMC, the Pung Sang Metal Corporation. I've got it labeled, I think is, it's probably decent brass. Yeah, decent brass. Let's see how it measures out here. So we've got nine, 91.1. I'm not going to write all this down. That's a 90.6. Well, that's a 1.5 grain difference right there. Uh, 91.5. A 92.5, 92.6, so we're probably running out uh, over two grains difference so far. Um, 91.4, uh, 92.9, uh, 92.6, eh, so so. Um, on the SD, I don't know. I may I may run it through and put it in a spreadsheet just to see how it works out. I don't have that many rounds of it. Um, here's something I checked a minute ago, the Hornady. I was a little bit surprised at how the Hornady looked because I would think Hornady ammunition is, or Hornady brass is really good. All right, come on, zero. There we go. So let's see on the Hornady, we've got a 90 point one uh, fairly light probably some of the lightest we've seen a 93.7 wow that's a big difference that's 3.7 grains difference just in two two cases a 94 one maybe that 90 something was a an anomaly a 96 one An 89.2, uh, huh. and a 93.1. Yeah, the Hornady seems to be kind of all over the place. Let's see what the Frontier looks like. That is also my understanding that's manufactured by Hornady. Uh, probably be similar. A 92.1. A 92.4, a 92.6, wow, that stuff's pretty consistent. A 93.3, that one's a little bit of a flyer. A 92, a 91.8, mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit wider spread on it, but 92.3. Hmm. Well, well, that all seems to be actually better than the uh, Hornady, so. So, just for uh, kicks, I measured some of the other stuff. Uh, came out pretty crazy. The Hornady checking those that's actually the worst brass of the lot it had an SD of 2.180 an extreme spread of 1.68 and an average weight of 93.010 the PMC actually came out a lot better I thought PMC was just going to be decent it was uh, it had an SD of 0.859 and an average weight of 91.77 so According to this test, and I don't know how scientific any of this is, it's just, you know, an exercise to show that difference in the quality of the brass, the volume, uh, you know, trying to compare, you know, one of the things that precision is trying to have everything as consistent as possible. And from the test, I know that uh, when I'm doing my ladders, my velocity ladders, I need to just suck it up and use the Lapua, even though it's going to be fired more times. Um, because that's going to be, that's actually what I fire in competition. So 
that's what I need to do. I need to just make all this other stuff. Plinking ammo and maybe the best, the better of it, like maybe the Jag, I can load some up uh, in an equal load and know that it's going to perform similar. And, you know, if I run short on ammo at a competition or something, you know, fire it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, the uh, Jag and the, or the PMC and the Hornady, that was crazy. The Frontier was uh, by far better than the Hornady. Um, and the BHA was a lot better than the BHA match. The, the best was actually the Jag uh, with an SD of .210. And second best was the BHA, not the not not the BH not the Black Hills match, but the straight BHA with an SD of 0.246. The Lapua, the uh, once fired, it had an SD of 0.436, average weight of 97.685 grains. I went and checked that what I was just putting away was brand new Lapua. It's never been fired. The pocket primer or pocket the pocket primers haven't been uniformed and brand new. Checked 10, 10 cases of it. The SD was 0.364, which, okay, it's better than fired, so manufacturing process is good. Uh, the average weight was 97.45. It was just a little bit lighter than the uh, Lapua once fired, but, you know, it all, it all depends on what lot number it came from. You know, a lot of this stuff is probably mixed. You can't just say that, well, it should be the same because it's the same brand. You know, it may be uh light years apart on the lot number like some of this some of this lake city brass uh i noticed on it the other day some of it says old as what is that one that's a uh, 2012 that one is a 2004 that one is a 2018 so anything that was manufactured for the military, it's got a two-year stamp on it on the year of manufacture. The civilian stuff doesn't. So that's, that's one way you can tell who it was manufactured for as far as military. But anyway, hope this uh, was enlightening a little bit on the differences in brass. And uh, I learned a lot from brass on this and uh, learned a lot about quality and differences and uh, enjoyed doing it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.